meters they're always a useful tool but what if you want to measure a capacitor now you got is volts, ohms, diodes, transistors, amps but no capacitance enter the cap meter specifically for measuring capacitor values by Dage Scientific Instruments model CM-6 I got this cap meter while at an estate sale and I believe it was homemade from a kit still works. Let's get some caps. Let's get a 2.2 microfarad tantalum capacitor. First test. That's a pretty precise cap. 2.21 microfarads. What would it measure in nanofarads? Maybe I should. 248 nanofarads. Oh, wait, what's the LED? Maybe it's over. Okay. What about a one microfarad electrolytic? Put back a micro. Two point nine six nine microfarads. More off, but pretty close. Also, you can plug it into a little breadboard it's got down here now let's measure 22 microfarad capacitor Turns out to be actually about 30 microfarads. What about this little 47 microfarad? It's either going to be a messed up 42 or a messed up 43. Sometimes it doesn't light up one digit piece for some reason. It's weird, but either 42.2 or 43.2 microfarads. Let's try a 0.1 microfarad. Mylar capacitor. Oh my gosh, that's precise. 0 0.100 microfarads. The nanofarads should be 100 nanofarads, I think. Perfecto. It's a 100 nanofarad cap. What about a ceramic 
0.0047 microfarad capacitor. Well, 0.004 doesn't have enough decimals, let's put it in nanofarads. Five point two two nanofarads. Let's try point oh one microfarad cap. That's not microfarads. It's actually 0 0.008. It's pretty close to 0 0.01. Now you can only have up to three figures on there, so if you get something with four numbers, you get the 1000 microfarad to test. Let's able to test this one. Looks like it's about 982 microfarads. Okay, let's go even higher. Let's six thousand eight hundred microfarads. It's too big, so the it goes over. On a quick side note, here is my homemade supply, power supply. On this, and that's a voltage, and then the blue knobs are current, a 50 milliamp is a current limit, 50 milliamp, 250 milliamp, 500 milliamp, 1 amp, 1.5 amp, 3 amp, that's the same on the other one, and this is earth ground, this middle one here. And then this is plus and minus, plus and minus for the other supplies. Of course that's current there in amps, 0, 0.00 amps. The meters aren't the most accurate in the world. It's very hard to set these things to be precise. I got them as best as I could get them, I think. But they aren't perfect, but they're pretty close. And also, I had to wind the freaking power transformer myself. Aside from the primary because it's hard to be finding the right voltage transformers for sale on the internet and if you do they're going to be like super expensive so yeah
here's it darker. Let's turn it on while there's very little light shining on it, shall we? Now I can see the displays. They glow red, but they, of course, the camera exaggerates the brightness. Oh,